Pwede bang katulad ko ang ibigin mo? Oh, oh, oh. Di mo na kailangan pa pumunta sa tulo na wala na na para sumaya The Binibining Pilipinas reigning queens say their final goodbyes when we return. One of the best things in becoming a Binibining Pilipinas title holder is that we have been given that rare chance of representing our country in the best international pageants. This certainly has been a dream come true for me, as well as for other of our reigning queens, who wore their crowns graciously and made us truly proud. So tonight, we say congratulations and thank you to Daniel Lu Valmonte, Binibining Pilipinas International, Leah Andrea Ramos, Binibining Pilipinas Universe, and Ana Maris Igpit, Binibining Pilipinas World. The Philippines has held the Miss International Crown for four times. The first in 1964 by Gemma Teresa Guerrero Cruz, who is now a journalist and president of the Heritage Conservation Society. Her victory was duplicated in 1970 by Aurora McKinney P1, who is now a social activist and staunch advocate of Gawad Kalinga, a foundation for the homeless. In 1979, the title was won by Mimilani Laurel Marquez, who became one of the Philippines' top ramp models and a successful movie star. Since then, it was a long draught for the Philippines in the pageant until 26 years later in 2005 when Binibining Pilipinas' precious Lara Kigaman, with her arresting smile and perfect form, became the winner in one of the largest beauty pageants in the world, Miss International. The Miss International pageant is called a Festival of Beauty or the Olympics of Beauty because contestants serve as ambassadors of peace and beauty, showing not only beauty but friendship and intelligence as well and the ability to take social responsibilities the pageant's mission is summed up in a short phrase to make a difference traditionally the pageant is held in long beach california where it was born until it moved to tokyo beginning 1972 last year however binibining Pilipinas international daniel lu valmonte competed in beijing china in July this year, the contest could go back to Tokyo, where it is usually held. When I was young, I thought my dreams could not be achieved, but I was not afraid to travel into the unknown, to push beyond the limits, to wear the crown of a beauty queen. As Binibining Pilipinas International 2006, I have learned that life is a long race to the finish line, but crossing the finish line is not really as great as the journey towards there. We're making your dreams into reality and fighting for what you believe could give you true happiness. Along the path, I met many significant people who made my life meaningful and happy on my way to the finish. So let me mention some of these people 
who helped me during this journey to success, to thank them for their priceless gift to me, to Madame Stella Marquez de Araneta and my Binibining Pilipinas family for giving me the chance to prove my worth, acknowledging my efforts, and for being my second family during my reign. My endless thanks to Tito Caloy and his family, to Tito Rogel and the rest of the group for their overwhelming support, for believing in me, and encouraging me to go on. A million thanks to the former beauty queens, Karen Agustin, Maan Bayot, Maricar Balagtas, Carlene Aguilar, and Lara Kigaman. Also to Tito Fritz Infante, Dale Carnegie, and Tito Pitoy Moreno, who brought out the best of what I have. To my fellow queens, Leah and Anna, thank you for the friendship. To my loving family, who has been my inspiration and who made me what I am today. Papa, Mama, Ate, thank you for always being there for me. As I pass on this crown, I invite the one who would be wearing it tonight not to forget the valuable lessons that go along with it. Wear it proud, but stay humble. Live with it, enjoy it. And don't forget to make your country proud of what you have become and what you will become. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. The Binibining Pilipinas pageant began in 1964. Five years later, Gloria Diaz, the bubbly Binibining Pilipinas 1969, won the Miss Universe crown for the first time and put the Philippines on the beauty map of the world. The classy and sophisticated Margarita Moran won the crown again in 1973. Manila hosted the pageant in 1974 and saw Margie relinquishing her crown to her successor right in her own turf. Manila hosted the Miss Universe pageant again in 1994, where Binibining Pilipinas' Charlene Bonin Gonzalez made it as a finalist. This year, the pageant will be held at the National Auditorium in Mexico City. Binibining Pilipinas has always been a good contender for the Miss Universe crown. Winning as semi-finalists on different years were Louis Vale Aurelio, Clarinda Soriano, Army Barbara Crespo, Guadalupe Sanchez, and Geraldine de Asis. Chiqui Brosas won as fourth runner-up, and the late Chatsilayan and Desiree Verdadero won on separate years as third runner-up. In 1999, Miriam Kambao almost became the third Philippines Miss Universe when she was named first runner-up. Binibining Pilipinas is also distinguished as having won the Miss Photogenic Award six times, the last one just last year, by Leah Andrea Ramos. The past year was made lighter by amazing people who helped me pull through. My mom, who gave me unconditional love, generosity, and strength. My dad, Miko, Juno, and Bea, and all my relatives who supported me and kept my spirits high. Jonas, Nad, Rufa, and Tito Boyet, who spent five years to convince me to join this pageant and successfully transformed this NGO employee into a beauty queen. John Quay, who taught me what discipline is all about. Now I know that with hard work, nothing is impossible. Dr. Rude, Carol, BJ, and my Asia Foundation family, who gave me lessons on how to make a difference in this world. My Panay Extension, The Rats, Block Ewan, and all my friends, who witnessed my struggles shared my experience, and cheered me on. Mel Siboku. Skeeter and Ryan, my best friends, who took part in my lifelong journey, endured with me, and allowed my wings to spread so I may soar high. My fellow Davaueños who supported me, I carry your name with pride. Davao City will always be my home. My Binibini sisters, Anna and Daniil, and the past beauty queens, Karen, Maricar, Carla, Maan, Jonah, Carlene, and Lara, who inspired and encouraged me. Finally, Madame Stella Araneta and the Binibining Pilipinas Charities, who opened doors of opportunities that would expand my horizons. Rest assured, I will put my title to good use. During my reign, I met people from all walks of life, here and abroad, and became involved in advocacy campaigns for causes close to my heart. 
Thank you to the organizations and agencies that have trusted me to deliver their messages to the public. To whom much is given, much is expected. I will live by these words for the rest of my life. There's more to accomplish. My real journey has just begun. Daghang salamat at mabuhay tayong lahat. The Miss World pageant began in 1951 and is now the most sought-after title in beauty contests. It has the most number of candidates worldwide and is the largest live animal television event seen in more than 200 countries across the globe. The winner of Miss World lives in London during her reign, which is the jump-off point for her travels around the world. Miss World, like Binibini Pilipinas, is dedicated to charity. Through the beauty pageant, Miss World organization has raised millions of pounds for charitable projects called Beauty with a Purpose. Unlike other beauty competitions that host beauty contestants for two weeks of activities prior to coronation night, Miss World is a month-long extravaganza of preliminary events, dinners, parties, and other social programs. The Philippines has made it as semi-finalist to Miss World with Binibini title holders Carlene Aguilar and Caroline Subihano. Those who made it as finalists were Catherine Manalo, Rafaelo Yunon, and Carlo Bautista. Binibini Pilipinas won as second runner-up in 1993, with Rufa Gutierrez doing the honors for her countrymen. Binibining Pilipinas 2006 Anna Maris Igbit, who competed in Poland for Miss World, was named one of the top 20 in beach beauty and in talent competition. She was also one of the top five in a survey that was conducted in Poland. This year, Binibining Pilipinas covets the title of Miss World, a would-be first for the Philippines in what is known as the biggest international beauty pageant. Two years ago, I was giving out leaflets to people in the malls and schools to support a friend who was competing in the Miss World Beauty pageant. Who would have known that she would be doing the same for me when I won the crown of Binibini Pilipinas World last year? Life is indeed full of surprises. I would like to thank the people behind Binibini Pilipinas charities, most especially Mrs. Stella Marquez de Araneta and her husband, Mr. George Araneta, who helped me fulfill my dreams. My loving family, Ma, Pa, Atemay, and Ayan, thank you for always being there for me. Tita Nila Montero and family, who helped me realize my potential. Congressman and Mrs. Edgar Chato, thank you for treating me as part of your family. Chicoy Tumol, Tito Roger Flores, Tito Kaloy Varela, and my Polish instructor, Mr. Josef Sara. Thank you so much. Of course, to my close friend, Carla Bautista, thank you for inspiring me. My sisters, Leah and Daniil, we have survived, and I'm very proud of you both, and I will always be here for you. To all my good friends, you know who you are. Thank you so much. Sa akong mga isuon sa Cebu, paglabaw sa Tanan, sa akong probinsya sa Bohol, naghan ka ayong salamat. Atong ipadayon ang pagtukod sa talento sa mga Bisaya. I may not have become the first Filipina Miss World, but at 18, I took up the challenge and became the lucky one among 86 million Filipinos to represent the Philippines in one of the most prestigious international beauty pageants. Competing in Warsaw, Poland made me a better woman. It was a dream to fly to Manila and leave my beloved province of Bohol. But winning the crown helped me to bring Bohol to the attention of the people around the world. Mabuhay tayong lahat. The Kang Salama, give us ships to of Binibini Filipinas 2007 for Miss International. Miss Universe and Miss World follows after this. Good evening, welcome back 
This is the BBB Filipinas 2007, and Jonah, Miriam, Raymond. It has been a fantastic evening. The ladies have been absolutely spectacular. Have been indeed. That's right. And this is the moment we've all been waiting for. We shall be announcing the five winners. We're going to have two runners up, and of course, our title holders. That's right. Let's begin. Okay, everyone's excited. Let's call in Lita Montez from the SGV, holding the precious envelope. Start off, Raymond. Our 2007 Bini Bini Filipina second runner up is candidate number. Candidate number three, Abigail Leslie Cruz. Presenting the award to Abigail Leslie Cruz, our second runner up is Miss Maan Bayor. Congratulations, candidate number three. I have in my hand the next envelope. Miriam, please do the honors. My pleasure. Beauty pageant first runner up is candidate number 24, Lizelle Versus. Presenting the award to Lizelle Versus, our first runner up is Miss Karen Agustin. Congratulations, candidate number 24. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Alanada, let me hear it. We shall start out by announcing Bibi Filipinas International. Jonah, please do the honors. And this year's Bini Filipinas International is. Presenting the award to Nadia Lee Shemshami, Bilibini Bilibinas International is last year's winner, Daniel Lu Valmonte. Congratulations, Nadia. Our new Miss International. Of course, she is beside herself, and that's understandably so. Yes. Having won amidst all of the beautiful ladies we have on stage. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I have in my hand Filipino Filipinas Universe. Filipinas Universe for 2007 is candidate number nine, Ana Teresa Licaros. Presenting the award to Ana Teresa Licaros, Filipino Filipinas Universe's last year's title holder, Leah Andrea Ramos.
We have one more title for tonight, and that is for Pilipini Pilipinas World for 2007. And she is candidate number... Candidate number 11, Margaret Wilson! Presenting the crown to Margaret Wilson, Bilibili Bilibina's world is former title holder Anna Maurice A. Pitt. Filipinas International, BB Filipinas World, BB Filipinas Universe for the year 2007. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations to our winners, and thank you everyone for joining us tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. In behalf of my co-host, Paula Bidiones, Raymond Gutierrez, and John Robrera, this is Miriam Kiambao. We look forward to seeing you next year for the Philippines number one beauty search, Bini Bini Pilipinas 2008. Good night. We'd also like to thank our judges for tonight. Thank you so much for making wonderful choices. Good God job, judges. You. Let's give them a round of applause. Everyone, once again, Bini Bini Pilipinas Universe, Bini Bini Pilipinas World, Bini Bini Pilipinas International for year 2007. Congratulations, ladies, and to everyone here at Alameda. Please drive home safely, get home safely. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Miriam, Raymond, thank and you. Jonah, thank you thank for a wonderful you so evening. It's Pleasure been working an honor with you. hosting with the three of you. Pleasure, buddy. Good job. Beauty Pageant was presented to you by GMA Network Incorporated in cooperation with Binibining Filipinas Charities Incorporated, Araneta Center Incorporated, and Watson's Personal Care Stores, together with Rejoice Rich Shampoo, Myra E. Facial Moisturizer, Fetrum L. Carnitin and Green Tea Extract, and New Cream Silk Flexi Hold Leave On. Nagtagi sa sa talino at ganda ang mga kandidata, pero tatlo sa kanila ang talaga namang umangat sa iba. Itinanghal na Binibining Pilipinas University si Ana Teresa Licaros, Binibining Pilipinas World naman si Margaret Wilson, at Binibining Pilipinas International si Nadia Lee Shen Shami.
At yan ang Flash Report Special Edition, direkta sa punto, detalyado, kompleto. Maari